more continues. Today's game is brought to you by Light Beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less by Chevrolet. America is on the move and Chevrolet is supplying the wheels. Chevrolet and you taking charge. By your local McDonald's restaurants, a proud sponsor of the 1984 Olympics. By Highland Appliance, everything you never expected from an appliance store. And by America's largest carpet retailer, New York Carpet World, the better carpet people. Welcome to the Metrodome in Minnesota. I'm George Kell along with Al Kaline. It's opening day of the baseball season. There's been several games played during the afternoon. The Tigers opening here in just a couple of moments. Everything that happened in Florida, Al, is forgotten, and I know they want to forget a few things that happened down there. Well, as I mentioned, George, they did not play well in spring training, uh, but nobody was really overly concerned. Uh, they went to spring training know, knowing uh, what kind of team they were expecting to have. Uh, they had a little question mark as far as the pitching, but they plugged a couple of holes as far as getting Hernandez in the bullpen. Uh, I think the team looks great. I think they're ready to, to have a big year. Jack Morris is coming home. Jack Morris lives, you know, in the St. Paul area. He's coming home tonight to pitch this first game of the season against the Minnesota Ball Club. He always pitches well, Al, against Minnesota, and I talked to him before the game, and he said, just another ball game, but I don't believe it. Don't believe it. Opening day and pitching in front of your home, your folks, all your friends. Uh, he has a lifetime record, 11-2, and two, George. He was 2-0 and oh last season. Uh, Jack's going to be charged up, and he's going to have to control himself because the tendency when you're charged up to overthrow the ball, but... Uh, he's always has a lot of confidence going against the Twins. The big roar that you hear in the background is Hall of Famer Harmon Killebrew, who played for the Minnesota Ball Club for so long, hit over 500 home runs, is on the broadcast crew here in Minnesota now, and he's going to throw out the first ball tonight, and you might imagine, as you might imagine, he got a great reception, and a great guy, Harmon Killebrew. Oh, absolutely great. One of the great guys ever to play the game of baseball. There's a lot of opening days and a lot of gadgets and uh, and hypes for opening day, but you can't beat bringing a uh, Hall of Famer like Harmon Killebrew back where he made all of his great records here at Minnesota. Al Williams is going to pitch for Minnesota. Al Williams won 11, lost 14 last year for this ball club. He pitched extremely well in spring training. Uh, he earned the spot, Jack uh, said. Uh, the manager said uh, he earned the right to pitch the opening game. And Al, uh, he throws hard, and he can be tough. Hard throw. He had a pretty good year a year ago, 11 and 14, with a pretty bad ball club. He had a lot of trouble with his shoulders, and he had uh, slight surgery. And uh, they say he's throwing hard. He can throw hard. Quite a story, this guy. He, uh, he signed with Pittsburgh for a couple years in the minor leagues. He was over in Nicaragua. He couldn't get a visa to get out, so he, he joined the Gorillas over there for uh, about six months and then finally was able to get out of the country and began his pitching career again. Fought his way out of there. Well, they're going to have a good crowd on hand tonight. They were expecting between 35 and 40,000. It's been a slow coming crowd. At 6 o'clock, there was hardly anybody in the stadium. Right now, it looks like, Al, they might have 30, 35,000 people. Well, it's been a big push all winter long because there's the uh, thing hanging over the uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis that they're going to leave here if they don't draw so many people. And uh, I expect them to move out of here whenever there's a stadium built someplace else. But anyhow, they got a pretty good young ball club here. If they can stay with these young people and let them grow a little bit, add one or two more players, they could be very uh, competitive. We're going to be right back at Metrodome in Minnesota right after this message. 